Okay, this video we're going to show you how to set up team logins so coaches can come in and enter rosters, upload rosters, and then we can communicate with them as uh, the event administrator. So you'll notice I have my teams in here. In this case, we're linked to a season. But what I want to do is I can come in the left menu or the setup menu, and I want to go to users and then statisticians. So you'll notice there's no statisticians in here at this point. I can add a statistician from this drop-down one at a time. I could type a name in, a username, password. We can assign them to a particular team and add those in. So I can do those one at a time, uh, and that's easy to do. But if you're linked to a season and those teams are linked to those, um, or those team admins in the season, I can run this function right here that says add team statisticians. It says I'm about to add a new statistician for each team. I would click OK. And then this data gets pulled from the season. So again, two ways to add these. Add those statisticians one at a time using this function. Or if you're tied to a season, like many of you are uh, in your events through a middle school or a youth season, um, or you've already typed your teams in and you're linked to, say, a high school season, for instance, uh, this add team statistician will actually pull in all of those admins from the season side of things. So that's how you can add those in there. If I needed to edit any of these, this is also easy to do. I just click on that person and I could make those changes from there. So I'm not going to do that at this point. Um, so I'm just going to go back to my users statisticians again to show you how to get back to this page. And then there's a couple of ways we can communicate with these folks. If I want to send um, a custom email, I can just send this one right here. It says custom email. It's going to open uh, this new window. I would type my email address in here, a subject, and then put my uh, my text in there. The pop-up that I closed quickly there basically tells you that this page will time out. So if you have something lengthy, you might want to type it somewhere else, copy it, and then paste it into this box. But I would just fill this information out, hit send, and it would send that custom email. If I want to send that login email, that will give each of these users a link to get in, some instructions regarding their deadlines and things like that. What I can do is send this notification email. So this is an email that's been constructed. Uh, it gives a link. They don't need to know their password, username, and password to get in. I would, again, I would just type my name, my phone number, my email address, and it would be sent on my behalf. So you as the event admin would enter your information there. I click go, and that uh, email gets sent to each of these users. That way they know to go in and get their rosters in.